Do I have everybody's attention now? Do I have everybody's attention now? Don, I got you. Don, I Do I have everybody's Sunday attention night. now? You put them cameras on me, then you must be willing To get that heart touched, it's a must-see feeling The news ain't good, then it must be villain So I say a tag round it, I don't trust these feelings Spread across your nose, and I'm on your air High as next on the cloud Am I in the air, Sunday nights, round time I flex my bed of Ultron, transform to DX Don Mega and unseen, you probably think I'm nice Cause I flow like a stream to your wireless device And the smoke full of steam on any given night, I'll show it like a piece of any given slice. Uh, and for the latest and what is best about I, tune in and tune the rest out, Don. You gotta tell them, am I in the clear? Is this thing gone? Am I on the air? On the air. Well, all right, all right, all right. What is going down, everybody? Welcome back to another brand new edition of Am I on the Air? My name is Don Mega, and I am your humble host, and I'm so happy that you're joining me here tonight for another brand new edition, bringing you the latest and the greatest when it comes to entertainment news, television, movies, reviews, non-spoiler. You come right here to Am I on the Air? We're broadcasting live from the Red Dragons Radio Studios here in lovely Tucson, Arizona. Arizona, uh, in association with the Pop Culture Pros, and it is Monday, May the 23rd, it's season 24, episode 10, and tonight's show is titled Senior Rangers. Now tonight, of course, we're going to talk a couple movies, uh, non-spoiler reviews, we're going to talk a couple TV shows, and then of course, we're going to get you caught up with everything that's been going down, that's been released in the last seven days or so in entertainment news. Okay, so strap on in and join me for the ride. Now before we get started, I always like to give you some plugs, man, because there's always things popping when it comes to Don Mega and the Ami on the Air Network over here. Number one, the Quick Bites. Again, have you subscribed to Am I on the Air Quick Bites? I really hope you have, uh, because it's our spinoff podcast, and it's always bringing you some really, really cool stuff. Quick Bites of Information, that's right. As it drops, you don't got to wait for the new episode of Am I on the Air, and you get more detail. That's what I love about the Quick Bites. It gives me 10 to 15 minutes of time to really get into a subject. So make sure you subscribe to Am I on the Air Quick Bites. It is a separate podcast feed. Now, a couple days ago, we dropped a real nice one talking about some big Disney Plus news that we'll get into later tonight. And, of course, what's going on with the MCU for the rest of the year over on Disney Plus. So big MCU Disney Plus news drop on Am I on the Air Quick Bites. So make sure you check that out. And you can also listen to Am I on the Air Quick Bites not only on all your favorite podcast platforms, but right here on Red Dragons Radio, right here on the Pop Culture Pros Network, and uh, enjoy. Secondly, have you listened to our Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness spoiler review? The movie's been out for three weeks now. It's still number one at the box office, which means you people are watching it over and over again. And it's time for you to check out our spoiler review if you haven't. It is an Am I Still on the Air episode. It's myself with Peeps and Friggins. And we break down all of the goodness in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So make sure you check out that episode. It's available to watch on podcast, uh, sorry, on YouTube form, in video form. You can watch it on our YouTube page, or if you want to listen to it on podcast form, you could do that right here on our Am I on the Air feed as well. And lastly, I shouted this out on last week's episode, but again, it goes without mention that... We also popped up on a very special episode of the People's Forum a couple weeks ago, uh, actually about a week ago, last Monday, and um, on the Marvel Cinematic Monday, and myself with Friggins, we joined the People's Forum, and we talked about Moon Knight in all of its spoiler-filled glory. So if you'd like to listen to me break down some Moon Knight, make sure you check out that episode of the People's Forum as well. So there you go. Three big plugs. Am I on the air? Quick bites. Are Am I Still on the Air? Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness spoiler review. And the People's Forum episode talking about Moon Knight. All now streaming on Red Dragons Radio. So make sure you listen and enjoy. 
Okay, with that being out the way, let's get into our non-spoiler movie reviews. And I'm going to start off with an interesting one that when I first saw the trailer, I was like, thanks, but no thanks. Uh, I was never a big fan of this cartoon, and my daughter was too young to really appreciate it also. Uh, But this trailer came out, and she actually really liked it. And I thought, not too bad for a trailer. It looked like a unique take. And that is the new Chippendale Rescue Rangers. That's right, the new movie that hit Disney Plus this weekend. Decades after their successful television series was canceled, Chip and Dale must repair their broken friendship and take on their Rescue Rangers detective personas once again when a former castmate mysteriously disappears. Now this time, Chip is voiced by John Mulaney, Dale is voiced by Andy Samberg And I love both these guys They're hilarious Especially Andy Samberg I'm such a sucker for him But then you also have voices in this thing Like Will Arnett Eric Bana Flula Borg Dennis Haysbert Keegan-Michael Key And the list goes on and on and on I gotta say I was pleasantly surprised by Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers I think I might have liked this more than my daughter did And she really liked it Um, It's just so meta And it's so self-aware The things that pop up in this Are very nostalgic There's a lot of little easter eggs They have ugly Sonic in this (laughs) That's right, the original design Of Sonic from the Sonic the Hedgehog movie If you recall that drama That happened a couple years ago Ugly Sonic pops up in this Uh, It's funny And uh, I love that Dale has had CGI surgery So he looks all cool like Alvin and the Chipmunk style But Chip still looks old school drawn It's just so dumb but so good at the same time Guys, get your family together Sit down, relax, and enjoy the show Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers You'll be surprised how much you'll come out of this movie laughing and, and man, what a pleasant, pleasant surprise it was So for me guys, 4 out of 5 stars uh, Definitely based on the audience it's for Based on, you know, being an at-home streaming movie Definitely 4 out of 5 Chippendale Rescue Rangers now streaming on Disney Plus Now I'm going to move over to my second new movie of the weekend And this is the new Rebel Wilson comedy, Senior Year So... This one here is more traditional It's nothing that you haven't seen before A 37 year old woman Wakes up from a 20 year coma And returns to the high school Where she was once a popular cheerleader To finish her senior year And become prom queen The main plot is the empowerment Of LGBTQ rights And progress through the years So Yes, so you've heard the premise This movie starts off with a young um, Rebel Wilson played by a- I don't ever know how to pronounce her name and An- Anjuri Anjuri Rice. Uh, she you'll notice her, you'll recognize her from the Spider-Man movies. The you know she was in uh, Homecoming and Far From Home and a little bit in No Way Home. She's the reporter Betty Brandt. Um, but she plays young Rebel Wilson And she just moves to the states from Australia And she's trying to fit in And she wants to become one of the popular girls And she does And she gets the hot guy And she's, you know, captain of the cheerleading team She's going to be prom queen And then uh, an accident happens And she goes into this coma And she wakes up 20 years later Now in a 37-year-old woman's body Played by the adult Rebel Wilson Um, But, you know, of course her mentality, her mental state is still this, you know, 17 year old girl (laughs) So that's what's really funny about this is that, you know, she, her body's aged but her mentality has not So she wants to go back and finish high school and of course it's Rebel Wilson So, you know, she's going to bring the physical humor and everything else to it But um, I will say this, this movie was funnier than I thought it would be It's not a great movie, but you know what? It's a Netflix film, and if you're just looking for a short little fun time with some laughs, I really do think you'll like Senior Year. And this thing not only has Rebel Wilson, but you have Justin Hartley from This Is Us. you got Sam Richardson, who which I love Sam Richardson, so every time he pops up, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Zoe Chow is in this, and... You know, Sam Richardson and Zoe Chow were just in the after party on Apple TV Plus that I love together. So it was good to see them in this together. Mary Holland is in this. Chris Parnell. Alicia Silverstone pops up. 
it's a really solid cast and it's got some really good laughs and it's funny to see the differences from you know high school back in the 90s the late 90s to high school now in 2022 um so like i said man it's cheesy you've seen this kind of premise before uh fish out of water kind of thing but i enjoyed myself man and like i said for a free little netflix film it did its job so i would give senior year three out of five stars uh i hope you guys enjoy it if you give it a shot So those are our two movie reviews Now I'm going to switch on over to television And the new show of the week that I checked out Is the new Showtime show Uh, Let's see I love that for you I totally spaced the name for a second I love that for you Now this stars Vanessa Bear um, Who was on SNL for many many years And I love her She's such a good physical comedian And I loved her on SNL And she left several years ago And and was going to do other projects And you see her pop up every once in a while But not enough to where I'm like Why did you leave SNL? (laughs) Um, But so it was really good to see her pop up on this And I'm going to tell you She's fantastic in this show And Molly Shannon is in here Also of course SNL alumni Um, And basically the premise of this show Is when Vanessa Bear's character was younger She had cancer And she um, was in the hospital a lot So the TV was always on SVN Which is like a home shopping network Like a QVC And so she grew up watching people like Molly Shannon's character And all these other women Selling these products on SVN So when she becomes an adult She's like that's what I want to do So she goes and auditions and actually gets the job And then it's about her trying to settle in And become this great anchor At SVN But she's very awkward She's very weird She's very nerdy Um, And I love it I love it This show is great I love it more than I ever thought I would Now I watched the trailer And I was like this looks cute And then after watching just the pilot episode I was like hell yeah And I've watched the first three episodes Maybe even four episodes so far And I just love it Everybody that's in this show is great Every character plays their role It's a great ensemble show Led by Vanessa Bear And her comedy is just next level in this She's so cute and awkward And I just love watching it unfold I cannot recommend this show enough I can't wait to watch more episodes Check out I Love That For You Now streaming on Showtime And real quick I just want to touch on a couple finales That I checked out I finally finished Severance I know it took me a long time But I finished Severance And woo, what a finale that was And I can't wait to see where season 2 takes us So guys if you have Apple TV Plus Check out Severance with Adam Scott It is Bonkers crazy So very very interesting show for you guys to check out And just earlier tonight I finished This Is Us I'm still wiping the tears away from my face Damn you This Is Us For being the one network television show That for the last six years Has constantly found a way to make me cry Watching a show (laughs) I mean I don't think I've ever watched a show in my life That has pulled on heartstrings And made you feel so connected to characters And what they're going through in their lives As This Is Us has done And This Is Us was on its final season And it just aired its finale And I just finished it up And what a way it went out Amazing show Six great seasons I'm gonna miss This Is Us But man, it was time to put it to bed Because I just don't wanna cry no more (laughs) I don't wanna cry no more Um, But that's what I got for you guys So let's recap real quick Uh, We had Chippendale Rescue Rangers 4 out of 5 stars Now streaming on Disney Plus We had Senior Year I give it 3 out of 5 stars And that is now streaming on Netflix We have I Love That For You Which is over on Showtime And definitely check that out I'm very very highly recommending that one And then of course check out Severance on Apple TV Plus Check out This Is Us uh, Now streaming on Peacock And on Hulu Make sure you finish that one up um, And get your box of tissues ready Okay So that's our reviews Let's talk box office guys Coming in at number 10 It is The Northman And you can now rent or buy The Northman at home So get your voodoo credentials lowing And check out The Northman Coming in at number 9 It is The Lost City Which once again is 
um, streaming now on Paramount Plus. Number eight is Firestarter, which is also streaming now on Peacock. Number seven is Fantastic Beast: The Secrets of Dumbledore, which will also start streaming this weekend on HBO Max. Number six is Everything Everywhere All at Once. Number five is a debut. It's Men. Number four is Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which, by the way, guess what? Sonic the Hedgehog 2 going to start streaming on Paramount Plus tomorrow. So there you go, man. Paramount Plus is killing it lately with this, with the uh, uh, out the theater and home streaming right away. I love it. Number three is The Bad Guys, which you can also rent or buy on demand right now. Get your voodoo back out. Number two is another debut. It's Downton Abbey, A New Era. And that's right, the uh, old folks came out to play for Downton Abbey this weekend, coming in number two, uh, bringing in a okay 16 mil for its three day weekend. And coming in number one once again, it's Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, bringing in almost another 32 million dollars. Three weeks in a row, Doctor Strange number one. Doctor Strange also crossing the 800 million dollar mark worldwide. So very awesome there and congratulations to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness Okay, that's our box office And before we get into our news of the week We gotta thank our sponsor Because it's time once again To talk about it To talk about it It's that magic spoon It's that magic spoon Yeah, you want some good cereal? You want some good cereal? But you don't want none of the bad stuff? That's where Magic Spoon comes to play, baby I've been talking about this cereal for the last couple weeks, ladies and gentlemen I've been trying to save you some money I got you a promo code I got you a special link to go to You need to get your Magic Spoon Have you tried it yet? I got you a variety pack Four flavors Cocoa Fruity Frosted Peanut butter This pack has zero grams of sugar 13 to 14 grams of protein And only four net grams of carbs And it's only 140 calories per serving Can you believe that? I'm literally drinking a Dr. Pepper right now And it's got 260 calories There's one little drink And it's just a small one too This is just a 20 ounce And it's got 260 This cereal, 140 calories per serving That is incredible It's keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, and low carb Mix it up Mix the flavors like mixing cocoa, peanut butter Get a peanut butter cup, that's right It tastes exactly like regular cereal from your childhood But it's super nutritious It's delicious but super healthy cereal That really brings joy to your morning, afternoon, evening, late night snack To all of it So here's my call to action guys Again, this is your last chance to get in on the deal Go to magicspoon.com forward slash on the air And grab a variety pack and try it today And once again, be sure to use our promo code on the air At checkout and save $5 off your order Remember, Magic Spoon is so confident in their product It's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee So if you don't like it for any reason They're going to refund your money No questions asked So remember, get your next delicious bowl Of guilt-free cereal At magicspoon.com Slash on the air Use the code on the air And save that $5 off So thank you Magic Spoon For sponsoring this episode And always showing your support For Am I on the Air We really appreciate it And with that being said Let's switch gears and let's get into our News of the week Alright, so in the last week We have had some really cool trailers drop So let's just get right into it Because at the um, The very next day After we did last week's show She-Hulk Dropped its first trailer And I could not believe how much I love this damn thing And the show is officially titled She-Hulk Attorney at Law And the original Marvel Studios series will start streaming officially on August 17th on Disney Plus Now from what we're being told it's going to be 9 episodes long Guessing there'll be about 30 minutes apiece And it's going to be more of a comedy Think, um, uh, what is it, what was it called, uh, what's the fuck hard uh, Ali McBeal, that's what it was Think about like an Ali McBeal Jennifer Walters, right? The cousin of Bruce Banner She becomes She-Hulk And so here's the thing Trailer's fantastic 
the CGI, the look of her, I'm a little eh on because Hulk and Abomination and all these other characters look so good, and she just looks a little off putting. But at the same time, she looks super hot, and I would totally get down. So <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm conflicted, but I'm very excited for She Hulk Attorney at Law. I think it's going to be awesome. She. Um, looks like Tatiana Masolani looks like she's going to hold this down very well. Um, it's got great humor. It looks fun, and I can't wait to see Mark Ruffalo back. Um, I, I'm just I'm sold, man. I'm sold. So this was a great trailer, but it didn't stop there for Marvel because earlier tonight, just a couple hours ago, the brand new Thor: Love and Thunder trailer dropped, and I've already watched it five million times. And that's why you'll see it's already breaking records Because within like an hour This thing had already been streamed over 2 million times Which is insane uh, for a movie trailer But that's showing you how much people are excited for this movie This trailer is awesome It's so good and we finally get our first look At Christian Bale as Gore the God Butcher Um I'm so this is my most anticipated movie of the year if you've been listening so you know I'm super super excited this trailer did it for me Korg is telling the story let me tell you kids a story about Thor Odinson Uh, I love Korg and it was great to see we also got the new poster for Thor Love and Thunder and oh my god I gotta get this thing framed on a wall ASAP I love this poster it's so good we have it up on our Twitter we already put it up on our Instagram Make sure you're following along to check these things out What a badass trailer And this movie is like A month and a half away I'm so excited Let's go man Thor Love and Thunder so good And then also dropping today Very surprisingly The first trailer for the new Mission Impossible That's right Mission Impossible 7 Which is now called Dead Reckoning Part 1 And this trailer was great So much action So much Tom Cruise running uh, Very traditional Mission Impossible movie Lots of uh, You know street chases And train chases And of course ending with him doing a crazy ass stunt I'm so excited for this movie It is a year away This movie doesn't come out till like July of 2023 So a very big tease To give us this trailer over a year away Um, But I'll take it It made me very, very happy and very excited So lots of great trailers, man And this is just to name a few I'm sure we'll talk about more as we roll through the show Um, But definitely check out She-Hulk Once again, starts streaming on August 17th The trailer for Thor Love and Thunder The first full official trailer And of course, the trailer for Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 Okay, let's keep it uh, rolling here Um Spider-Man director John Watts is set to helm a coming-of-age Star Wars Disney Plus series That's right, John Watts, the Spider-Man trilogy director, has created and will helm a new Star Wars series for Disney Plus The show is described as being in the tone of a classic Amblin movie, coming-of-age adventure film from the 80s Very interesting, and if anybody can do it, it's definitely John Watts So this is kind of showing you here, he had just dropped out a couple weeks ago from doing Fantastic Four Now we hear he's doing a Star Wars Disney Plus series, so very interesting, man He must have just had a real big passion for the Star Wars project and said, I gotta pivot Um, Guess what? You can bring Nicolas Cage home That's right, the unbearable weight of massive talent is coming to digital on June 7th Along with the 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray on June 21st This movie's awesome, one of the best of the year so far So make sure you check out that when you get a chance Morbius is also now available on digital And um, we even have a link up where you can watch the first 9 minutes of it if you are interested Uh, Check that out on our Twitter page But yes, Morbius is available to buy or rent now as well Congratulations to the Loki show over on Disney Plus Loki is Marvel's most watched series on Disney Plus And season 2 will officially start production this summer So congratulations to Loki, man Did not assume that that would be the most streamed show But congrats there We have your first look at Disenchanted That's right, the sequel to Enchanted um, Coming to Disney Plus later in the year So that's pretty cool there for a lot of people expecting that only Murders in the Building has dropped its first trailer for season two. I still got to finish season one. I still have like four episodes left of season one. Um, but yeah, congratulations. The season two is back and ready to rock. 
Harrison Ford and Helen Mirren are joining a new Yellowstone prequel series So I don't know why, but hearing that just makes sense, right? Harrison Ford and Helen Mirren on a Yellowstone prequel Something about it just makes sense And that'll be coming to Paramount Plus Um... Let's see here The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen Is going to be receiving a reboot They're looking to do that over on Hulu So that'll be interesting to see How that kind of comes about Of course that last movie that they did woo, Was a stinker And caused Sean Connery to have to retire <laughs> So I'll be curious to see what they do With this reboot We have the new trailer for Irma Vep Which stars Alicia Vikander As uh, it's a new HBO adaptation Of the 1996 cult classic film So check that out I do love me some Alicia Vikander Where the Crawdads Sing We have the new trailer for that movie Which a lot of people are looking real forward to My wife read that book She really wants to see this movie So check out the new trailer um, Yellowstone season 5 officially begun production And it will be the longest season yet So there you go I know a lot of you want more And you're gonna get more Oh, another trailer coming your way Ladies and gentlemen You ready for a crazy trip? Chris Hemsworth has a new movie That we knew was coming to Netflix uh, So it's the summer of Hemsworth uh, as on June 17th We're going to get his new movie Spiderhead It's Chris Hemsworth, Miles Teller, Jernay Smollett So an awesome cast here It's written by Reeson Wernick Who did the Deadpool movies And Zombieland So great writers And it's directed by John Kaczynski Who is doing Top Gun Maverick That comes out this week So great director, great writers, great actors Yo, what is not to be excited about I am so stoked for Spiderhead, which hits Netflix again on June 17th. Love it. Okay. Uh, Ryan Gosling expected to star in David Leach's adaptation of the 1980s TV series, The Fall Guy. So, okay, let's do it. I'll take it. Pete Davidson and Naomi Scott are said to star in David Mitchode's new stoner film over at A24 and Plan B called Wizards. Okay, I will check this out because of Naomi Scott Because I love me some Naomi Scott uh, Pete Davidson's eye So, <laughs> moving along uh, Let's see here uh, We already talked about that We already talked. Well, like I said, The Northman is on VOD now And supposedly is doing really, really well on the home market Did not do good in the theater uh, But a lot of people buying it and renting it So very cool there, congratulations and then speaking of streaming, The Lost City has already been watched by over 1.5 million U.S. households in its first six days of streaming on Paramount+. Plus. So very, very cool there. Celebrity Jeopardy uh, has been ordered to series over at ABC. So interesting. Another addition there. Kevin Can Wait's Aaron Hayes is set to appear on AMC's Kevin Can F Himself Yes, that's right uh, The show that she was booted off of Which is Kevin Can Wait She's going to be popping up on Kevin Can F Himself So guess who gets the last laugh here uh, I love it I like Aaron Hayes It was a bummer that she got booted off Kevin Can Wait Because I really like that show also um, But um, yeah great, great casting edition I like it a lot Blood and Treasure Season 2 finally coming uh, and it's being moved to Paramount Plus So there you go, if you're keeping an eye out for it Paramount Plus Mary Elizabeth Winstead will officially appear In the Ahsoka Star Wars TV series So great addition there We all love Mary Elizabeth Winstead So awesome, awesome uh, We have the new poster for Spiderhead Which is great, so check that out also um, Disney has acquired rights To the Elton John documentary Called Goodbye Yellow Brick Road Yellowstone Season 5 will premiere uh, in November of 2022 HBO Max has announced that the Wonder Twins film has been cancelled That's right, we just announced this movie a couple months ago They started casting for it, right? The guy who plays Archie on Riverdale was going to be the brother um, they were, This thing was getting ready to rock and then they're like, nope <laughs> Remember HBO Max is now owned by the Discovery president um, And the Discovery president um, 
Slazlav, I think is his name, something like that. Uh, he saw the script, he read it, he thought it was just too plain Jane of a comic book movie, and he decided, nope, this is not the kind of films we're going to make, and he axed it. So there you go, man. No more Wonder Twin films coming to HBO Max. Ryan Johnson's Star Wars trilogy is officially on hold. We've been talking about this Ryan Johnson trilogy for many, many years since he did The Last Jedi, and it's not gone anywhere. Now it's officially on hold. Maya Hawk is joining Uma Thurman in a new dark comedy called The Kill Room. We have the new Queerest Folk trailer, which is coming to Peacock for its reboot. Adult Swim has ordered Rick and Morty anime series. Squid Game Season 2, we got the creator of Squid Game given an update and a release time frame for the second season of Squid Game, so check that out if you're interested. HBO Max is grabbing a new animated comedy special from Sasha Baron Cohen. Love the sounds of that. He's also teaming up with Mike Judge and Greg Daniels to develop this animated comedy. Hocus Pocus 2 is setting a fall release date for the upcoming Disney Plus sequel. We have the trailer for The Lake, which stars Julia Stiles uh, in a new comedy series, so check that out if you're interested. We have the trailer for Bros, which is Billy Eichner's new gay romantic comedy, that's right. Um, so very interesting there. It's headlined and written by comedian Billy Eichner, and this is the, we got the Red Band and Green Band trailer, so check that out. Once again, it's called Bros. A big rumor going around in the Marvel world is that a live-action Captain Carter project could be in development. Um, again, take this as a rumor I've heard nothing more um, But she's very popular from What If People are liking, you know, seeing her pop up in Multiverse of Madness So I can see where the rumor came from But once again, take it as a rumor Director Yu Bowl is announcing that his return to filmmaking with an Elliot Ness movie And I'm sure it'll be one of the biggest pieces of shit we've ever seen Marvel signs a deal to bring Stan Lee back through digital technology and archival footage That's right, they have signed a likeness deal with uh, Stan Lee's estate Which means that we can start seeing him pop up in different projects again uh, Doing his cameos in CG form, and archival footage, different things that they could use to do this So Stan Lee coming back baby, it's coming back in a big way we have the trailer for George Miller's new movie 3,000 Years of Longing So check this out, it's going to be another mind fuck That's for damn sure uh, We got some new details for the new upcoming Star Wars show And or the Star Wars Rogue One spinoff series Check out that if you want to know more The Yellowstone spinoff 1883 is going to continue Via a Bass Reeves story And of course that will continue at Paramount Plus Reacher star Alan Richson has revealed what book season two will follow And uh, let me see here, because I actually do have that I had that saved and of course I didn't have it brought up When I wanted to tell you all about it So the book that season two of Reacher will be based on is Bad Luck and Trouble So there you go there The Jack Reacher thriller Bad Luck and Trouble is what season two will be focusing on Right now he is currently filming Fast and the Furious 10 Fast X all right, we got CBS's fall schedule talking Ghost NCISLA on the move. SWAT returns to Fridays. Firefighters claim Magnum PI spot and so much more. So check it out if you want to know where your stuff falls over on CBS. Kathleen Kennedy says it's vital Lucasfilm move away from the Skywalker saga and will stop recasting legacy characters. That's right. There you go. She wants to start broadening the universe. And I think we're all ready for it Let's do it Lizzo is getting her own HBO Max documentary series CBS Fall 2022 schedule You can check that out and see some new trailers For some of the new shows that are coming out Sorry about that uh, We have the new trailer for The Old Man That's right, this stars Jeff Bridges John Lithgow and Amy Brenneman It premieres on June 16th Over on FX And you can stream it on Hulu Okay uh, Barry Renewed for season 4 I love the show Barry It's on HBO and HBO Max It's been renewed for season 4 And I'm super happy about that uh, Let's see here Let's, we, we already talked about Reacher on Prime Bad Luck and Trouble Jack Reacher number 11 Written by Lee Child uh, Filming will commence this fall on season 2 
We also have the trailer for The Terminal List. This is the new Chris Pratt show that is coming to Amazon Prime on July 1st, where he plays a former Navy SEAL on a mission to uncover the truth. This looks really good, man. I love Chris Pratt, and uh, I'll be checking this out, man. The Terminal List, July 1st on Prime Video. All right, the Twisted Metal TV series is casting Thomas Hayden Church. Can you believe it? I am so excited about this. Um, so very, very cool there. Thomas Hayden Church joining the Twisted Metal series. And I love this game. I'm so excited for this series. Uh, Falcon himself, Captain America, Anthony Mackie is playing the lead in this. Uh, Nev Campbell just joined up with this. So I love it. Justice League game announced for next year. Jason Momoa is set to star in a new action comedy called Shot, Shot, Shots. So very cool there. Um, we got an interview up with Kerry Payton talking about Teen Titans Go, their latest movie, Origins of Cyborgs, Booyah, and a whole bunch more. So check that out. Uh, and then check out this big news because, guys, we were so happy to hear this. Daredevil coming back, Disney Plus. They have just added the Covert Affairs creators and writers as executive producers And they are writing the show And it sounds like Charlie Cox will be back And we are doing another season of Daredevil Now there's been no official word if this is actually season 4 Or if this is a reboot, if this is a spinoff If this is some, you know, multiversal, like, you know, situation We don't know But what we do know is that Charlie Cox is coming back as Daredevil And, uh we got the Covert Affairs creators writing and producing, and it will be coming back to Disney Plus. And we're super excited about this. And this was, of course, the big deal of this was our Am I on the Air quick bite that we did. I teased it at the beginning of the show, but my quick bite is all about Daredevil coming back to Disney Plus. And of course, like I said, everything Disney Plus is doing with the MCU throughout the rest of the year. So it's a really good quick bite. Again, make sure you check it out for more details. Amazon's She-Ra live action series has set Nicole Castle to direct I think the She-Ra series is going to be pretty cool, man I'm excited for it, actually We have the trailer for the Winchesters That's right, the Supernatural prequel Check that out We also have the Gotham Knights key art And an updated synopsis for the upcoming CW show set in Gotham We have the trailer for My Fake Boyfriend Starring Kenan Lionsdale uh, It's a new rom-com that he's doing Margot Robbie is set to star in an Ocean's Eleven prequel That's right, Ocean's Ten maybe? I don't know But I think it's going to be placed in the 60s So they're going to go way back on this thing But hey man, Margot Robbie picking up We just talked about her possibly doing Pirates of the Caribbean Now she's doing an Ocean's Eleven prequel Go get your money, girl I love it The CW's teen series Riverdale Officially ending with season 7 That's right, it is done, son Riverdale ending with season 7 Scott Eastwood is returning To the Fast and Furious as Little Nobody He's joined up to return On Fast X so congratulations There Um, Prime Videos The Wheel of Time season 2 is Officially wrapped production we have the Season 3 teaser trailer for the Umbrella Academy so check that Out if you are interested Uh, Samuel L. Jackson teases his Nick Fury role in Secret Evasion And the rumor has it that the Secret Evasion show will happen during the blip That's right, the show will take place during that five year blip After Thanos snapped his fingers So very interesting there, got a lot of questions And we also talk about this on the Quick Bite So make sure you check that out The new Warner Brothers CEO is looking to develop more Harry Potter content for HBO Max The Godzilla TV series will be helmed by WandaVision director Matt Shackman That's awesome, congratulations there, I love that Um, Delilah has been cancelled after just one season over on the OWN network But the star, Mara Hill, has been cast in a new NBC drama pilot, so congratulations there We got an article up with the CW boss talking about all the cancellations they've done (laughs) over the past couple weeks So check that out if you're interested Evil Season 3, we have the trailer for that coming soon to Paramount Plus I like this show, but man, I'm still back on Season 1 I can't believe we're already on Season 3 Got a lot of catching up to do one day if I want to (laughs) find my way to this 
Even though Riverdale will end in season 7 uh, The CW announced that they won't be premiering it till 2023 So got some time before you get that final season CW has also announced this fall schedule With the Winchesters, DC Stargirl uh, All new Walker Thursdays The Flash, Superman and Lois And Riverdale's fel- far- Farewell Run uh, Which is being held off for mid-season Like we just talked about in 2023 Um, The trailer for She-Hulk Attorney at Law ripped through 78 million views in just the first 24 hours Becoming the second biggest trailer debut for a Marvel Studios series behind only the Falcon and the Winter Soldier But that trailer had a boost because of the Super Bowl So other than that, this is the biggest trailer they've ever done for a Disney Plus show And that's pretty awesome, so congratulations there to Marvel Okay, trucking along Benedict Cumberbatch is set to lead Paul Greengrass's new period drama called The Hood uh, Kumal Nanjiani talks about his Obi-Wan Kenobi character So you can check out that article if you'd like to know more about that Jackass 4.5 is now available and you can stream it on Netflix Which is very interesting Now every Jackass movie has had a point edition, right? 2.5, 3.5 Now we have Jackass Forever Now it's interesting because Jackass Forever is streaming on Paramount Plus But Jackass 4.5 which is the extended edition of Jackass Forever is streaming on Netflix And they're like Netflix will have it till like 2024 and then it will stream on Paramount Plus And I'm like who the fuck is waiting for this thing to stream in two years on Paramount Plus Like it's just so weird the streaming rights crack me up sometimes That the main movie could be shown right now on Paramount Plus But this weird extended edition Is Netflix exclusive Like I don't even know man But check it out if you're interested Um, We have the season 3 trailer For Love Victor So check that out if you're interested Netflix's teen rom-com Heartstopper Has been renewed for two more seasons Um, It was breaking news that Nev Campbell Has joined Peacock's Twisted Metal adaptation I kind of name dropped it a little bit earlier When we were talking about Thomas Hayden Church But yes Nev Campbell Great addition here I love her And awesome, awesome man I love the way the Twisted Metal show is stacking up We have the teaser trailer for Baymax That's right, the Disney Plus debut For the Big Hero 6 spinoff Is coming soon I love me some Baymax And I'll be checking this one out for show Stranger Things debuts the first 8 minutes online And reveals the episode split So check this out So Stranger Things Season 4 starts this Friday, right? And it's going to be 9 episodes They're doing episodes 1 through 7 Right out the gate on Friday And when it comes back in July It's only episode 8 and 9 Isn't that crazy? But that's because episodes 7 and 9 Are actually going to be movie length Especially the last episode Episode 9 is two and a half hours long So there you go man It's going to be a jumbo sized movie episode Um, And that's why the second part Is only two episodes So there you go there man I'm so excited I'm hearing great things about this season And it's been far too long And I'm so excited to get into this this weekend Kathleen Kennedy says they would never make an Indiana Jones movie without Harrison Ford She says that now until he dies And then I'm sure they'll jump right on that Uh, (laughs) Pete Davidson has left Saturday Night Live Um, This news broke over the weekend right before the Saturday Night Live season finale Uh, Not a shocker here He's doing so many TV shows and movies right now His star level is hot And uh, he really probably doesn't have the time to do SNL So Moving along there Uh, Also over on the SNL front Over on the weekend We did have the season finale And not only did Pete Davidson leave uh, But Kate McKinnon, A.D. Bryant And Kyle Mooney also left Uh, I'm a big fan of SNL I watch it every weekend So these are big, big players On this show that they just lost Obviously Kate McKinnon Fantastic She is one of the, I think, the glue of the show And it's very sad to see her go Obviously Pete Davidson He only pops up on certain sketches So it's not a big big loss uh, But still sucks A.D. Bryant Another piece of the glue to the puzzle She's so good and she's so vibrant And such a big piece of so many sketches She's going to be missed And Kyle Mooney man I mean when he pops up He pops up and he's hilarious So uh, this is a big hit for SNL man I can't. It's going to be interesting to see how they bounce back from this Going into next season 
The CW Network president says that they're staying in the superhero business Despite canceling three of the Arrowverse series So we'll see how that goes <laughs> Disney Plus has renewed High School Musical the musical For season four ahead of the summer return of season three So there you go there Glee is returning to streaming via Hulu and Disney Plus So you'll be able to watch those again Naomi Aki, Tony Collette, Mark Ruffalo are joining Robert Pattinson in Bong Joon Ho's new sci fi film. So, man, hell of a cast right there. Corey Hawkins, his new movie, The Last Voyage of the Dementor, has landed a summer 2023 release date. The Crow director, Alex Proyas, is prepping a $35 million horror thriller called Sister Darkness. Jeremy Renner is set to play David Armstrong in an upcoming biopic. The Squid Game creator is working on a comedy about the creation of his Netflix hit. Sony uh, Spider-Man 4 update is given by Sony Pictures. Basically, they're saying they're ready to rock on a new Spider-Man movie, and they are hoping to bring back the entire cast. So, very good news there for everybody wondering if anybody was going their own ways. Nope, we're going back. Tom Holland, Zendaya, everybody, Jacob Batalon, they're all coming back. I don't know if they'll be able to get John Watts back to direct, but I'm glad to hear they're trying to keep the gang back together and move forward on Spider-Man 4. Okay, trucking along here. Down Nabby, a new error, grows seven point four million on Friday, coming in second at the box office and putting the movie on course to gross around eighteen million for the weekend. Did fall short of that, did not hit eighteen, but there you go. Netflix has nabbed a new Emily Blunt package. It's called Pain Hustlers. They are paying fifty million dollars for the David Yates directed project. Um, we got a new Kind of TV spot for Miss Marvel Which comes out on June 8th So check that out Our next Disney Plus series Um, Let's see here Of course check out our TikTok If you haven't I got up video reviews I did one with my daughter for Chippendale Rescue Rangers I got one up for senior year So make sure you check that out We also put the videos up on our Instagram page as well uh, Bad Boys 4 Will Smith Oscar slap is not a factor In the movie's delay uh, They still want to move forward with the project They just said it's kind of at a standstill right now As they wait to finalize script and director Lena Esco Has exited SWAT Ahead of season 6 I just watched the season finale of SWAT Last night or maybe two nights ago She's one of the main characters on the show And yes she left SWAT and said her goodbyes So it was kind of sad man We've been watching her for uh, five years now And um, but you know It could be interesting to see the show without her She's the strong female lead on the SWAT team So we'll see what they end up doing there But yeah sad to see Lena Esco uh, Move along from there uh, We talked about the Jeremy Renner thing But Jeremy Renner said to play David Armstrong The Pulitzer winning investigative reporter Who helped expose the Sackler family links to the U.S. opioid epidemic So very interesting there um, Let's see We talked about Mission Impossible Once again, check out that new trailer It's so good, coming to theaters On 2023 We talked about the new Thor Love and Thunder trailer Comes in theaters July 8th We've Got that new poster, that's incredible We got the Grey Man Character posters And tomorrow, speaking of trailers We're going to get the first trailer for the Grey Man one of my most anticipated movies of the year Also starring Chris Evans Ryan Gosling It's got my girl Anna D. Armas I'm so excited uh, The Grey Man trailer comes out tomorrow Also directed by the Russo Brothers The great directors of Infinity War and Endgame So we're ready man The Grey Man super super excited David Ayer talked about the Suicide Squad Air cut Suicide Squad Did I say squat? Suicide Squad Air cut uh, He says it would not require any reshoots So he said unlike the Zack Snyder cut He says his movie's done It's just going to be editing He said some visual effect shots But they don't need to reshoot nothing He says he's got all the footage in the can So come on man If all this stuff is shot already Let him put his movie together And get it on HBO Max This is an easy, easy bonus movie for you guys Do it We have the season 7 finale trailer For Fear the Walking Dead Ricky Martin is joining Kristen Wiig in Apple's Mrs. American Pie series. Um, we talked about Fantastic Beasts hitting HBO Max this weekend. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 will start hitting Paramount Plus tomorrow. 
uh, Stranger Things, a little bit of Stranger Things season four, volume one. The final trailer dropped earlier today. Remember, and that of course hits Friday, May twenty seventh. So check out that trailer. It's pretty cool, man. Got me excited. Law Abiding Citizen getting a sequel. Very interesting news here. It's in development from Village Roadshow. Um, I love Law Abiding Citizen. Jamie Fox, Gerard Butler. Hell of a movie, man. I love this movie so much. Don't know how they do a sequel. So I'm very interested to see. They're saying it's being kept top secret. Um, but so I'm very interested to see what they do here. Maybe it'll just be a different story under that name. Um, but hey, let's go. We have the new season three trailer for All Rise. I know a lot of you love this show, and it's coming to the own network for season three. So check out that trailer. The PBS Masterpieces Endeavor is set to end with season nine. Uh, we talked about the upload of Thor Love and Thunder The trailer earned over 2 million views in less than an hour Woohoo, so crazy man That all went down tonight uh, We have the new trailer for the Elvis movie Looks really good man, looks really really good And that'll do it That is our show That's what I got for you guys That's all I got to give That's all I got to give I've given my all Let's wrap it up. Let's do some plugs. Of course, our main web page is amiontheair.com. Make sure you bookmark that, amiontheair.com. Make sure you like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash amiontheair. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at amiontheair. You can follow me on Twitter directly at dxdonmega, M-E-G-A. Of course, make sure you subscribe to us on Apple Podcast. If Apple's not your thing, get us on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, Pandora, Spreaker, Stitcher, TuneIn, Google Podcast. We're everywhere, man. Just look up whatever you use and subscribe to us. I'd appreciate it. Make sure you get us on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Just search Am I on the Air. You can find all of it. Thanks to our great affiliates at RedDragonsRadio.com, another great podcast website, RedDragonsRadio.com. Follow on Twitter at RedDragonsRadio. And, of course, thank you to the Pop Culture Pros, always streaming us on demand on their podcast network as well. So thank you for all the love and support. And that, my friends, will do it here tonight for the latest edition of Am I on the Air? I hope you all have an amazing week. This week is time to... For my need for speed, baby It's time to check out Top Gun Maverick I am so stoked I'm going to an early press screening this Wednesday And then I'm going to see it again on Friday in IMAX So I'm going to have a double dose for y'all By the next episode Can't wait to see Maverick I'm hearing nothing but great things about it So take care of yourselves and each other And until next time, y'all Peace! Red Dragons!